Welcome back. It's day 22 of my VCV rack experiments and I'm upload. I'm doing a 50 day challenge getting to know VCV rack. And today I thought it was time for another drone. All right, what do we have? I started with Vesec, which is capable of some pretty dirty bassy sounds, which I love. And Vault also has some really good filters. Unstable is what I used first uh, to get a little bit of that uh, bent sound. I then send it to Debriatus. For some more destruction, uh, especially wave folding, some distortion, some saturation. Um, I'm actually not using this right channel. Might as well click that away. First I started doing this stereo, but then I thought, well, I'm not really doing anything different with the channels, so let's save some processing power. Um, the first time the left and right get some differences is here in the delay after it gets through the low pass filter of tangents. I have some different delay times for the left and right channel. And then from the delay, and this is the bass drone, uh, it is sent through three incarnations of clouds. And smoke is the regular clouds uh, in a granular reverb mode. And I've used some of the uh, other parasites, alternative firmers, resonester, is uh, some kind of a resonator and a Camilla, the time stretcher. Uh, if we solo the resonator, you'll hear the resonating strings. I'm not triggering it because that wasn't bassy enough. I couldn't get it bassy enough for me, so I'm just using this uh, as a Sympathetic string resonation, some harmonics dialed in, uh, some distortion. And it's our resonator channel. The changes you hear in the sound come from the modulation driven by Caudal, as usual. All right, let's go to Smoke. Our granular reverb sounds like this. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, lots of reverb dialed in, some stereo spread, some feedback and it's at a hundred percent blend so totally wet and i trigger the freeze on here sometimes it comes from a caudal but i've offset this so that it's mostly too low to trigger the freeze and just sometimes it triggers that All right, then we have uh, Camilla, our time stretcher mode. And that is indeed more stretchy. Again, I dialed in lots of reverb, more stereo spread, more feedback. And uh, this is at about 70% blend, I would guess. So some of the original drone bleeds through. we get a really nice 
evened out the drone from here. But together, they sound like that. A symphony of cloudiness. And then on top of that, we get some washes from tides, our tidal modulator. Driving pink noise from this noise generator from Bogodio. The big noise goes through a low pass filter tangents, then through a VCA to get a more stereo effect, and the second channel is delayed. So I trigger uh, the filter. Well, the gain on the filter here, or the left channel, right? And the gain for the right channel, that right? is the right channel comes from the same output, but the gain um, is triggered also by ties, but with a delay. And then here we introduce further delay with two different delay times for the left and right channels. Again, we have a like 70% mix. And that goes to this fourth stereo channel in our mixer. All right, then. Um, what triggers tides? Well, it's our clock at a very low BPM setting. And with some uncertainty dialed in through our Bernoulli gate, which is modulated uh, not up to 100%, but from Caudal, as you can see. So we get some variation here in when this is triggered. Now the length of these waves from tides um, come from the frequency which is modulated again by Caudal through a slow limiter because I did not want two sudden changes here so I'm using this input from Caudal to the slow limiter which then sends it to both the smoothness and the volts per octave for the frequency the length of the wave So that also means when we get shorter waves, like now, no, longer waves, the lower the voltage, the lower the frequencies of the longer waves, that also means the smoother the wave. The shorter waves will have more variation, less smoothness. All right, what else do we have? This delay is for our drive just a little delay because I use the same output of caudal for the resonance modulation here and I just wanted a little bit of difference in timing there anyway lots of other outputs from caudal uh, modulate all kinds of things uh, even here in VESEC, I have the pulse width modulation mo modulated, the AM amplitude modulation. Um, the FM sometimes comes in because it's uh, out of tune. So I have this with a big offset, so it's mostly in the red. And only sometimes when it toggles over into the green, it will add a little bit of FM to the sound. I have the shaper here modulated and a sync this one. So all this changes the sound. It's all modulated by Caudon in a quite slow setting so that over time uh, we get some variation in that drone and also in our waves on top of the drone. Overall, I'm really pleased with the outcome. 
Um, I want to record even a longer version of this, uh, put out maybe an EP. But I just tried that before I made this video and I'm occasionally running into resource starvation getting little glitches so I'll have to probably record this in two layers so just a drone by itself and then the waves on top of that by themselves in a second take anyway so keep your eye out for that um, probably tomorrow I'll try to uh, make that I put out on Bandcamp uh, in case you also like this and would like to hear just the music for a long time. Alright, that's my patch for today. I hope you enjoyed it. So keep calm and patch on. Like and subscribe and see you again tomorrow.